Hello again, a new day, a new project. And uh, you see, today we'll talk about this kind of micro switches. They are very popular, you know, keyboards and all kinds of electronics. You know, these switches are all around us. Microwave, oven, washing machines, radio, clocks, everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. You see, there are many kinds of uh, micro switches. Here we have two legs. We got some others, four-legged, like this. Smaller, bigger, four legs also. We have, uh, we have this kind of switches to be on the side of the board. This is a four legged two. One, two, three, four legs. Okay. Or this kind of solder that up on the board. You can hear the sound. That's a typical sound. How are these guys working? Let me take a piece of paper. Inside there. There is a metal, something like this, you know, it's absolutely circular and uh, it have this kind of shape. I call it a wok because it's exactly like a wok if we take it the other way, no? All right. So when we push, apply pressure here, this mechanical stuff have a momentum and suddenly, let me call it basculate you know when we apply pressure here then flips and suddenly we have something like this evidently having a contact point here and two others on the sides and then it's very simple to understand pushing this piece of metal down you hear that click the classic click because the momentum of uh, switching shape and then this one is closing or opening the circuit you see somehow this piece of metal it's just floating uh, doesn't have a fixed point to any of the parts middle or sides no why because it change it's somehow it's changed dimension and it's not very stable, you know, on the, on the way. That's why we need some sides contact here and here too. Let's have some uh, measurements. Okay. This is a four-legged meter in continuity mode. First, the four-legged one, there are two by two. So these two guys are together. This pin with this pin and the other side the same of course these ones are in the air okay if we push down the contact or the button very clear same story here but we have only two legs because in fact we have only two contact points Same story here. See, we have four legs. These two should be together. Perfect. The reason why we have more contacts inside there is because normally, like I said before, this uh, con convex or concave, doesn't matter, piece is floating inside there. So if we have more contacts on the sides, it's better if it's not touching here, then it's touching here and we have a firm contact. Okay, let's try to open up one of these guys. You can see my uh, video about how to fix these contacts. There we go. So I will just
cut this of course a better blade will help but it's working with this one too and we have another one here where are you yeah right here there we go and now let's take this metal sometimes it's plastic most of them is metal most of them are metal so let's have this thing out of here and now let's open up the switch yeah you see how can we take out that uh, metal if the switch is still on a board it's impossible to take it out so all we can do is to use one of this zip a piece of this and simply suck it out <laughs> all right so that's the work let's uh, let's take a look from from the side you can see very clear the shape very important it's to clean the edges the contact will be established by these edges touching the sides contacts you see those needs to be cleaned you see this region here so everything happens inside the curved metal part you see we need to clean these edges all around and of course we also need to clean the middle because this one it's touching the middle point of the contact here obviously we have the middle contact which goes to one of these pins let's see which of them okay so it's right here right here and this one goes here too okay and the other ones the one here goes to the other leg and by factory I may call it is in parallel with this guy too you see so these are this one and this one are together they are connected together and of course when the metal disc it's moving around it's floating around it will contact this edge and this one with the middle pin okay so now everything is back in there and we are touching one of the outside legs with the middle you see now it's having a clear contact because it's touching this part here and the other part here you can move this around as you like nothing happens we can move this around if it's moving all right now let's see the other guy which evidently it's the middle contact and you see the movement let's try and have a better look there we go so this is the middle contact and here is the piece of metal I told look at the movement so that's why we need two contacts there here and the other side to be sure that the disc the metal disc it's touching 
both sides here and here and then connecting the middle it's very simple to understand well to reestablish the contact here or the functionality of this guy we need to clean this very well the middle then these two contacts on the side and here we are good to go let's say don't forget to add a little bit of fat or oil but just a bit just just a tiny bit and then if you consider cleaning this metal part the mobile let's call it be aware not to push too much you see these are the exterior very important because these are the these are the edges touching the external these edges here top or uh, how can I say extremity of the disc it's assuring the contact with the uh, sides so this need to be clean also the middle need to be pristine of course we can use some uh, very thin sandpaper this is number 400 at this scale even this very thin sandpaper it's really really gross okay and now let's see the middle look there that's the result we wanted okay but here is a problem and we have to be aware about that because if you over push this cleaning process so we don't have to do anything outside everything happens inside the curvature so like i said everything happens inside the curvature you see inside the disc you can see the shape there all we care it's about cleaning the inside of the walkie shaped disc but also like i said before don't over push because you can lose the mechanical momentum here so the tension it's you see if we if we push it too much then these edges are getting linear somehow and the shape changed and we don't have this we don't have this shape anymore and doesn't make this this flopping this floppy movement okay now let's put everything back inside here we go so let's get everything back in here perfect then the the plastic button this one is doing the pressure translation to the disc and of course the frame there we are yes you heard the click that means one of the plastic things just got back in place and to be sure that everything is fine we can simply don't use any uh, glue because uh, it's very possible to ruin the the button here you know to get stuck and then you cannot use it anymore so don't use glue what i'm using usually it's my soldering gun like that 
you see, and melting the left of the plastic to keep the top in place. Yeah, it's a little bit higher temperature. It should be around 200 degrees or something. There we go. And now it's nice and safe back into the service. Okay, so now it's nice and safe. Of course, we still have the sound. Let's check for functionality. There we go. Okay, these are in parallel. So we have to check the middle and the side contact. Okay, sorry for jumping all around. And that's it. We have a working switch, a working touch switch, how you call it, micro switch. There are a lot of names about this guy. It's not so hard to fix it, but you need to have some skills and some uh, tools, some little tools. You don't need a microscope, uh, evidently. It can be done with some uh, good spectacles. You know, I have like this is a plus 2.5 or something and i have some others like 3.5 magnification and they are very good for any uh, close-up uh, works okay well i hope this is useful and like always if you have any question don't hesitate i'll do my best to answer and to give you a solution eventually but uh, of course, please consider subscribe, help me to, to grow this channel because you see it's a lot of time here and I'm doing a lot of effort, you know, to, to have something interesting to share with you guys. And you see, subscribing, it's the single way to help me. And uh, of course, like, comment, and uh, I'll be always around, okay? See you soon with some other projects. Bye.